So we're starting with this uh, different fill comparison for these different quilts. And so starting on the left, we have a Climate Shield 6.0 quilt, which will be rated to about 20 degrees. In the middle is an up quilt rated to 20 degrees. And then here we have an 850 uh, fill down tech quilt that's rated to 20 degrees. They're all right about the same size. So they're, they're pretty close in size. This is just a little prototype thingy that we sewed up. But uh, so I'm gonna run through kind of the numbers here on these quilts. So this is, the Climber Shield quilt is 76 inches long by 50 inches wide. It has a 20D outer, a 10D inner for a total weight of 28.8 ounces. The Climber Shield itself weighs 21.11 ounces with the shell weighing 7.69 ounces. The up quilt here is 76 inches long by 52 inches wide. It has a 20D inner and outer. Uh, it has 19.76 ounces of fill. The shell is 11.24 ounces for a total weight of 31 ounces. And then the down tech quilt is 850 fill goose down. It is 76 inches long by 52 inches wide. It has a 15D outer, a 10D inner. Uh, the fill weight on it is 12.78 ounces and the shell weight is 8.22 ounces for a total weight of 21 ounces. So these two quilts here are actually just a hair smaller or just a hair bigger when laid out flat than the Climber Shield quilt. So these two are just, they're about two inches wider than that Climber Shield quilt. Um, all right, we'll get set up for our stuff set comparison now. So we got all these quilts packed up into stuff sacks. Uh, the first one here being the Climber Shield, the middle would be the UP, and then the one on this side is the down quilt. They're all stuffed in the same size stuff sacks, which will be 13 inches wide and 18 inches long laying flat is the stuff sack. You can't tell much difference in them here, but I will say that the down quilt is the easiest to put in the stuff sack, followed by the UP, uh, followed by the, the climber shield was a pretty tight fit to get in there. So we'll, do what we'll set up to get these compressed down and and show you what that looks like so we've, we've talked about and played around with a few different ways to compress these and we really can't get anything to put any consistent pressure on them so what we're going to do and if you guys have any other suggestions you can always leave a comment in the video and let us know but i'm just going to stand each one on end and i'm just going to try to push them down as far as i can uh, so we're going to start with the down quilt here. So, obviously, it compresses down quite a bit. So, then we're going to go with the up quilt. Not as much, but still fairly decent. And then the Climber Shield quilt. <laughs> so in closing, uh, the UP Synthetic is gonna be uh, more compressible than your Climber Shield. Um, we, think, we think at least 20% more. Um, it could be a little bit more than that. <clears throat> if you get a compression sack or something to, to really crank it down. Uh, of course, down is going to be the winner by far, but when you look at cost, um, UP really shines with, with its ability to compress down close close to what that down quilt would. Um, also, make sure you subscribe and like the video. We're going to do another uh, kind of UP video here with... Uh, uh, durability of the UP insulation with some some multiple washes and and leaving stuff compressed and 
Uh, and that's probably going to be a, a couple weeks out, but just make sure you go ahead and subscribe so that you can see that video when it comes out. All right, guys. Thanks. Mm -hmm.